This week at Upper Room, Mother Beverly DeJanay celebrated her birthday Saturday, August 24th. Please join us in celebrating our NC Third Supervisor of Women. The Upper Room Church and Business Office will be closed Monday, September 2nd in observance of Labor Day. Normal business hours will resume Tuesday, September 3rd. Join First Lady Pamela Wooden and the Upper Room Women's Ministry as they touch God through prayer on Tuesday, September 3rd at 7.30 p.m. in the Sanctuary. Ladies, the summer prayer retreat will conclude with our pastor and the men of the Upper Room supplicating in prayer over the women. Prayer requests should be sent to URSisters at plwooden.org. This is a prayer time for everyone, so come with your family and experience revival through prayer. Immediately following, our 13-week prayer campaign continues with the Music and Fine Arts Department. Meet us in the sanctuary as we pray for our leader, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. Prayer points include his continued stand for God's truth, turn not from it to the left or right, be instant in season and out of season, continue to cry loud in defense of God's truth, and Lord help Bishop Wooden not to change. The Women's Intercessory Prayer Team will meet for prayer to be held Wednesday, September 4th from 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Please assemble around the altar. We're calling all singers 50 and above to join the Voices of Victory for rehearsal to be held Thursday, September 5th from 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. in the Multipurpose Room. This is in preparation to minister in song on Sunday, September 8th during our 11 a.m. service. For additional details, contact Elder Clarence Rocky Rayford or Sister Tamara Christian at SisterTammy at Hotmail.com. The Upper Room Riders are inviting all men to participate in Bishop Wooden's Pastoral Anniversary Bicycle Ride to be held Monday, September 9th at 5.30 p.m. The goal of this outing is fellowship, so bicycle type and ability are not factors, but please be sure to wear a helmet for safety. The location will be the WRAL Soccer Complex in the parking lot towards the back and refreshments will be provided immediately following the event. North Carolina Third Jurisdiction Coaching Academy is now accepting applications for enrollment. Tuition is $225 per semester and new students must submit a $50 non-refundable fee with their application. The final day to submit an application is Sunday, September 8th with classes beginning Saturday, September 14th. To enroll or for additional information, visit nc3rd.org or send an email to infotech.nc3rdca at gmail.com for an application. Join the Upper Room Church of God in Christ every Sunday at 11 a.m. and Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. for the live stream of our services on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. will bring a fresh word from the Lord relevant to our times and equip you to contend for the faith. Thank you to our viewers throughout the United States and abroad for your weekly support of our broadcast. The Upper Room Church of God in Christ can be seen every Sunday morning over the air from 11 a.m. to noon on MyRDC. If you're unable to join us in person or watch our live stream, we have you covered. Turn on your television and get ready for a full hour of the God First experience. Visit MyRDCTV.com for additional information. Giving is now better and easier. The Upper Room Church has moved to PushPay for online giving. Please use the following PushPay methods for online giving. Text GIVE to 877-727-0402, scan the QR code, visit our giving page at upperroomgospel.org, or mail your gift to Post Office Box 447, Garner, North Carolina, 27529. The methods of giving are also located on the back of the new church envelopes. Thank you for helping us make a successful transition to push pay. First Lady Pamela Wooden will be the speaker for the Triad District's Women's Weekend Bride of Christ Brunch to be held Saturday, September 7th at 11 a.m. The event will take place at Tree of Life Church of God in Christ, located at 9B Dundas Circle in Greensboro. The cost of the luncheon is $32. Scan the QR code to register or check your inbox for additional information. Save the date for the NC Third Women's Convention to be held Wednesday, September 25th through Friday, September 27th. Make plans now to attend. Bishop Wooden will be the speaker for the Cathedral of Faith Men's Day Rally, hosted by Bishop Christopher Martin Sr. to be held Sunday, September 8th at 5 p.m. The church is located at 6031 DuPont Street in Flint, Michigan. 
Bishop Whitten will also be the speaker for Bishop Bob Jackson for a service to be held Wednesday, September 11th at 7 p.m. Pacific Time. The service will be held at Acts Full Gospel Church of God in Christ, located at 1034 66th Avenue in Oakland, California. Hello, Pastor. Uh, this is Brother Powell, Michael Powell. Pastor, you're like a, um, you're a man of many facets, and you, you have battles on many fronts, and you wear many hats, and uh, you have many friends, uh, and, and you're like the old people say, you don't have, you don't meet anybody that you don't know, because you're so friendly. You said that. Your enemies are your trophies because they let you know that you are spreading the word of God and doing the word as it should be done. Uh, you're like a conduit. In a conduit, they would bring the water down from the mountain in the pipes and then it, the water would have the force uh, that it needed to when it hit the conduit, the conduit would spread the waters out to the dry areas in the valley and replenish the land. And that's what you do, Pastor. You, uh, you, you study the Word of God, you fast and pray, and God gives you the Word. And then He fills you up and you spread that Word out to your people, to me. I thank you, Pastor, because when uh, my, my wife passed, you was right there by me. You came and visited me in the, in the hospital, me and her, twice and you prayed with us and you uh, prayed for my wife and you were like a brother. You were my pastor, my bishop, but you were also like family. And I really appreciate that. So pastor, on your 37th pastoral anniversary, I'm gonna be here and I'm gonna support you with my substance and with my presence. And I pray that you have a, the best one the best 37th anniversary that you've had. Hello, Bishop Wooden. Hello, First Lady. Mother Cheryl Harris here. I have followed you for over 30 years as you followed Christ. And to this day, I would not change one footstep. I have a wonderful family of uh, three generations of Harris's and Hills that are worshiping in this church. And they have gained so much wisdom, so much from just being under your leadership. Introducing myself as Mother Harris is an honor. The honor that you and First Lady bestowed upon me this year, and I truly treasure that. My grandchildren have a wonderful walk and they listen to you and they hear you. My uh, six-year-old granddaughter, just um, the other week during the Olympics, said that we shouldn't watch the Olympics because in Paris, they don't worship the same God that we worship. She remembered that photo you showed in church one day and that stuck with her. And um, my grandson, one of my grandsons, um, mentioned one day that after hearing a Thursday night service, he ran up to me and said, Grandma, I, that's, that message was for me, and I received it. We see you preaching, teaching, and living exactly what you preach. By following your lead, I have found the love of my life, and we are enjoying our life in Christ. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you for everything that you have said, for everything that you have taught. And I know that this book, the Holy Bible, during the pandemic, this book preached by you, that was the shot in the arm that we needed. And it has kept us here. It has kept us 
through all the all the fears and um, I just want you to know that myself and my family for us we are definitely wooden solid having said all of that happy 37th anniversary Bishop happy anniversary Bishop my name is Crystal Tisdale and I have been attending the upper room from the fall of 2022 before attending the upper room, I was visiting a local church in Raleigh when Elder John was the speaker of that church. And without knowing anything about Kojic, the upper room, or Elder John, I thought to myself, I want to get to know his pastor, his bishop, whoever he was under. And to make a long story short, I started attending the upper room. But before I ended, before attending the upper room, I went over all of your YouTube, well not all, but some of your YouTube um, sermons and some of your YouTube shorts. And I thought to myself, well, you know, this pastor is talking about a lot of things that a lot of churches have not spoke about. And I have been blessed for that first week before attending the upper room. Now that I attend the upper room, myself um, attends here, my daughter, her husband and my mom. I would like to thank you as my bishop, as my pastor, as our pastor and as our spiritual leader, I would like to say thank you for all that you do, all of your dedication, your strength in the Lord, all of the things that you fight for. I have been truly blessed. I also want to thank you for praying for my daughter and her husband and her unborn child. I also would like to thank the First Lady for speaking with my daughter when she was going through a difficult time. We really appreciate it. We love you guys. And I am so proud and happy to be a part of the Upper Room. Happy 37th anniversary. Join us as we celebrate the 37th pastoral anniversary of Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., Sunday, September 15th. We're pleased to welcome guest speakers Bishop Oscar Benton Jr. from the India 6th Jurisdiction for the 8 a.m. service and Bishop Paul Harmon from the Maryland Eastern Shore Jurisdiction for the 11 a.m. service.